What's going on, everybody? Got a couple tools right here to check out from Ox Tools. I'll go ahead and pull the small one out first. Try to find it. Right here, we've got a little torpedo level. Models right here, if you want to check it out. This is on Amazon and a few other places on the internet. You can pick this up for about 10 bucks. Some nice bright vials on it. It's got some pretty good rubber ends. So if you drop it, it's not gonna take a tremendous blow. Magnetic on the bottom. It's a pretty, uh, pretty sweet little level. I got some metal that runs under here, so it's kind of picking on there, but this is aluminum, so it's not gonna stick good. It's not gonna stick at all aluminum, but the metal underneath it is grabbing. But sweet little level. They make big levels as well. They also uh, have a lot of masonry tools and things you would use if you're gonna mess with cement, brick, mortar, and things like that. What we're talking about today is this caulk gun. So right here, this is their dual thrust caulking gun. And right here it has a lever. And it'll have a 12 to one ratio or a 24 to one ratio. And all you gotta do is flip this lever and that's gonna change it. So we're gonna go ahead and put some silicone in it, give it a little try. And I'm gonna try it out and then come back and let you guys know what I think about it after using it. So we'll put it down. It's got a nice metal tube holder on it. So it should hold up pretty well. Cut a little hole in here. Maybe I should change this razor blade as well. Gotta avenge myself on that cut. Yeah, that's much better. All right, go ahead, throw this in here. And this is some pretty regular viscosity stuff, nothing too thick. So right now we have it on 12 to 1. And go ahead and put it on 24 to 1. Comes out a whole lot more. This is back 12 to 1. So when you're on 12 to 1, you got a lot more tension on it when you're squeezing. There's a lot more friction when you're pushing. Whenever you're 24 to 1, it's there's a lot more play in it. It's like I'm pumping and it's like there's nothing, nothing that I'm pushing up against at all. Might waste a whole tube right here, but that's all right. It's all demonstration purposes. Stuff smells like vinegar. It's really strong. Comes with a nice little poker on it. Poke your tube. This one here, you didn't need to. Certain ones, you got to poke them. Some of them, you got to cut. Some of them, you unscrew and then cut. But it's not about a, a silicone seminar. But you can use this with silicone, caulking, foster, your uh, fire fire stuff, you know, anything you want. It's a regular caulking gun. This is a 10 ounce. It runs about $39 on Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and provide a link to this on the Amazon, and then I'm also provide a link to their website so you can see their other tools that they have. Uh, I like this release right here. It's pretty, pretty beefy. If I don't knock the camera over, I'll be all right. Pretty beefy. It's not metal like the other ones where you're hurting your finger to play with. It's pretty, pretty good. We've got a plastic on there. We're going to check it out and try some different things with it. And uh, I'll probably get some clips using some different material and show you guys how that works. And then come back and make a full review telling you how it uh, holds up. Right here, it's got a rubber. So that's going to help when you're gripping it. 
kind of wide to grab. You know, it's kind of, the handle's kind of further out. I guess that may help with leverage and pumping it out more, but it is kind of, kind of far of a reach. But it's manageable, nothing, nothing impossible. But again, 24 to one, 12 to one. So whenever you're gonna wanna pump more or less, this is gonna affect the amount that's gonna come out, especially if you're using thicker things, you might wanna change the ratio so it's easier to pump. And this is one of their newer caulking guns. They have some other models, but I think it's pretty cool to have that option. There's not many other caulking guns that give you the option to change, you know, on the fly instead of going grab a whole different caulking gun. And they do make this in the larger tube configuration as well. So if you're using something larger, you can do that as well. And they make many other caulk guns. So it's pretty cool. I appreciate you guys checking it out. And, uh, Stay tuned for the full review on it. I'm going to use it at work, make some clips with it, and come back. And go ahead and demonstrate the poking stick on here. You're going to cut your tube that needs to be poked. Swivel the stick out, which most of you should already know this. And you're going to insert it. I'm just going to insert a very little in this one. Because this stuff right here never dries and gets everywhere. So I'm going to have to clean that up after this video and go ahead and insert this tube and I'll go ahead and explain the ratios so whenever you have it in 12 to 1 that means for every trigger pull force you put so say you put a pound of force on this trigger it's gonna apply 12 times that and if it's on 24 it's double it's gonna apply 24 times that. So 24 is gonna produce more. This is a lot thicker. Oh man, I got it on my hand. Okay, you got WD-40 to get this stuff off. Anyway, so the 24 should pump out more with more force. This is a lot thicker stuff than that silicone was. So right now we have it in 12 and I'm having to apply a lot more force to get this stuff going. You can see it's a lot thicker. As opposed to when I put it to 24 to one, I'm, I'm just squeezing. It's not, it's not as controlled, you know, it's not making as tight a line, which I mean, if you take your time, you can go ahead and make a perfect bead. And I do have these holes insanely big just to make sure you guys can see, but I'll go ahead and come on this side and show you the force difference. Right here, I have it in 24. And it's just pumping. As opposed to 12. It doesn't just pump. You, you got to put a lot more force in it. So it's twice as easy to pull when it's in 24 as opposed to 12. So for this material right here that I'm pumping, I would most definitely use it in 12. And when I'm using this thinner silicone, I would use it in 24. So we'll just go ahead and pump the rest of it for fun. Because that's what this is all about. But it's a great option if you're looking for a versatile caulking gun that you can do multiple things with. Because I wouldn't want to be pumping this stuff with a 12 to 1 ratio gun. I, I use an electric gun. To, to pump this stuff, but on the 24, it really wasn't that bad. But whenever you got in 12, you, you, you pumping and pumping your hands, get all, all tired and you start uh, cramping up in your hand. But on the 24 to one, it wasn't that bad. Like I said though, you can use it for many different materials. And it's a pretty, pretty decent gun at a pretty decent price. It's pretty durable. I mean, it's solid. We're going to put it to the test, drop it off a couple ladders, throw it a few places, put it in the back of the truck, and let it bounce around, come back and let you guys know how it holds up.